Good morning, my mimi. Whoa, that is a big yarn. Ooh, we have a light. Wow. Do you want to go pee? to leave in exactly nine minutes I'll be taking the bus today normally my dad drives me to work but he's in Florida for another two weeks so oops so I'm just gonna give my hair a quick brush hopefully it won't be so nappy It takes me about 15, 20 minutes to walk to the bus stop. I technically have two options. I could take like two buses and walk like 10 minutes and then get dropped off at the other bus stop. But I don't know, sometimes like I just don't like risking it and like lining them both up. He looks like a little old man right there. Oh my gosh, he's so handsome. Okay, you'll be so good today, okay? Okay, okay. Because today's vlog has been a little short, I'm going to do my nighttime skincare routine. I do have a different routine in the morning. So this particular nighttime routine, I usually really only do when I have makeup on. Um, just because it's like a little long and da 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 da. When I don't have makeup on at night, it's a little shorter. So first thing I do is my Clarisonic. This is the Mia Fit. This is discontinued. Uh, the head on this is the Deep Pore. So with that, I use my cleanser. This is the Dermalogica Clearing Skin Wash. I would say I'm like 80% done this. Not sure if I would repurchase. Um, I do like the idea of Dermalogica. I bought Dermalogica because I went to a facial. I went to a facial, I got a facial in September and this one is for like acne and I just, I've been using it for two months and I haven't noticed anything so I'm not sure if I would necessarily buy it again and also I found that when, like Dermalogica is not that cheap. Although I have no problem spending money on good skincare, although I would prefer to be able to get it at my work where I can get a discount so of course Dermalogica I cannot so yeah first thing I do is I wet my Clarisonic I drizzle some of this on it when I have makeup on I turn it on setting 2 setting 2 is 90 seconds setting 1 is 60 seconds, I believe. I just kind of let the Clarisonic do the work for me. I'm literally just moving it across my face. Um, I've seen people like do this. 
and like really brush it. You don't need to do that with this. You just kind of drag it all along and it, sorry about that. <laughs> it pulses twice for you to move to the next section of your face. Although it's a little wasteful, I always use paper towel to dry my face off because I feel like it's just the cleanest thing to use. I don't really like using face cloths because I can't remember how many times I've used them in one week. So this cleanser is not meant for eye area. So as you can see, I still have like makeup around my eyes right here. Um, so I take micellar water. One other thing I want to say about a Clarisonic is the Clarisonic does obviously do some exfoliation. It is okay to use every single day, but depending on how sensitive you are or like when you first buy one, I would probably only use it like three times a week. Um, you can overdo it with these, by the way, or if you're like on your face like I showed you earlier, like you should not be doing that. It should just be like this. Like your brush should do everything for you. Um, also, if you overuse them, you can get like broken capillaries around the nose area. And once you get them, they are hard to reverse. So just be careful about that. Uh, your nose is quite like thin and delicate. So I take my micellar water. This one is the Bioderma on a cotton pad. These are Quo. I think this is like my second one of this one in particular. It sells very well, but honestly, I don't particularly love it. I like my Garnier one much, much, much better. Um, I can feel a little like tight and like dry after this one. I don't know why, but I just do. I also don't love the pump. I thought I would love the pump, but then after getting the pump, I realized I don't like the pump. <laughs> So this, I definitely focus this on the eye area because, again, my cleanser does not go near the eye area or you will literally burn your little eyeballs. So I definitely get all that makeup off. And then I flip it over to the clean side and I use that on my face just to make sure that all of the makeup that I had is off. And again, down the neck because I do drag all my makeup down the neck. And also on the lips because lipstick. All right. As you can still see, I still had some all over my face as well. Okay, oh, I forgot my toner. Hold on. When I wear, um, what's that called? Mascara. I always remove mascara first. But to be honest, I've mentioned this so many times. I hate mascara. I think it looks beautiful. Um, my eyelashes are very straight, so as you can see, even me looking dead on, you can't really see them. I have to curl them. I have to wear waterproof mascara um, because my eyelashes just droop. Um, so yeah, I always remove my eye makeup first because I want it off as soon as possible. I didn't wear any eye makeup today. I honestly usually only wear mascara like once or twice a week. If that, I literally try to not at all because I hate it. It's a love-hate relationship, but when I do have it on, this is the Lancome Bifacil makeup remover. I love this. It's the best. It's like a duo, so you have your oil and water. You shake it up, pour on a cotton pad, hold it for 5 to 10 seconds, and massage. Highly recommend. This is like a deluxe bonus size. They are never this big, usually. Only like a few times a year. Okay, 
So now that my face is a little dry, I'm going to use my toner. This is the Dermalogica Multi Active Toner. Again, I've kind of switched to Dermalogica, but I might stop after I finish all these products because my acne and texture has not changed at all. Okay, so once that pretty much dries, I take my, again, Dermalogica, not sponsored, but if you want to, I'm totes down for it. This is the Clear Start Breakout Clearing Booster. And because I have like texture here, texture, like you can see that right there. Texture right there and texture there, that's where I put it. So pretty much everywhere. <laughs> dry momentarily who has their rook pierced I've been thinking about that for a while but I definitely want to do like one ear at a time because even this one my conch I should do a year update on that um, but anyways even this stupid ass bitch it still gets crusty and it hurts sometimes and it's just a pain in my ass honestly I think it's because I still have not ch changed my bar um, I could change it I think after like what did she say three months and because I don't live in Toronto I never changed it um, but I honestly think that that's part of the problem because the bar is so long which I mean, it's not that long, but when you're on the pillow all the time, like, it squishes it. I don't know. Okay. So I've been using an oil at night. We're down to there. I don't know if it's really working that much. I don't know. But anyways, I'm like super glowy and dewy after all these steps, and that's how I feel after my facial, and I just love that vibe. So anyways, this is the Physicians Formula Argon Oil. This literally, the only ingredient in here is argon oil. So I just do a few little drips. Alright, so it's been like a minute. <laughs> so I'm gonna move on to the next step. I am using a night cream. So I was using the Dermalogica Clearing Skin Lotion morning and night, but I was finding it was just a little too drying. Like I can use it in the morning, that's fine, but like at nighttime I just felt like a little dry, I don't know. And what I like about this is this is also eye safe, so I also use it as an eye cream as well. Oh, this is the La Roche-Posay Tolerane Night. New it. <laughs> uh, this is an intense soothing care. Um, great for sensitivity, rosacea, intolerant skin, allergies, etc. So I'm just going to do one and a half pumps. A thermal water I love thermal waters they are so so refreshing they are perfect for like traveling when the air is really dry um, it just adds like hydration they're nice for like the morning time when you're tired as shit they are nice when you're sick again they're just very refreshing um, so this one is the Vichy one I really like the Vichy one I like the spray the nozzle on it it's just so crisp love it so I just do like half my face, half my face. Ooh, that's nice, bitch. That's nice. Like, do you see this? Like so, so dewy. Okay, and then the last thing I do is my lip balm. By the way, I've mentioned this before. Once I'm done with like my Clarisonic face wash at the sink, I just take this all in my bedroom. Because I want to like watch TV because like this is like a long ass process. Okay, so this lip balm is... Mm -hmm. 
by Nooks. I am almost finished. This was a limited edition packaging. Um, this is like a lip mask. Um, I like to use more like pot-like pot -like lip balms at nighttime. Cause like, we dry. You know? Okay, we are beautiful. Beautiful. So I literally took all this stuff into the bathroom. Now I have to lug it all the way back to my bedroom. Cause again, I always do, I always do um, my makeup, my makeup, my skincare in my bedroom. So luckily these pajamas have pockets, so that's fantabulous. So hopefully we can make it in one trip maybe. That would be ideal. Yes, we're gonna do it. Amazing. Oh, maybe not. Nope, we got it. Perfect. Oh, wait, my toner. There we go. Perfect. I keep all my skincare stuff in my night table. And the reason why is because I used to keep it in my vanity. But I like it in my night table. It's just like easy, it's convenient, it's there. I don't have to like get everything out and like blah blah blah. So it's super late. I haven't even started editing yet. Like this is my problem. <laughs> I'm a low-key a night owl. <sighs> So I am just importing my footage for the day so I can, you know, edit. And I don't know why. I don't know why. But I mentioned in... Was it yesterday's Vlogmas? Yeah. Um, I mentioned that I got a new phone in June and I used to be able to import my videos straight to iMovie. So now I have to upload them to the photos and then drag them onto my desktop and then import them to iMovie. But I would say like every, I don't know, three or four times that I have to import footage, my dumbass computer like the files get corrupted or something which is so annoying and then I have to like restart my computer and then I'll try to re import them and they're all fine and dandy and I'm like why I gotta restart you like why are you doing this to me I don't understand so yeah I'm just going to be editing I'm gonna hopefully try to get it up I mean today's vlog wasn't overly exciting so I hope that I'm hoping it's not gonna be too long <laughs> But I have Buddy here. He is super freaking cute. My leg is falling asleep though, so he's just so sweet. Like, I don't even tell him to come over here. He just comes. Anyways, of course, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel before you go. And I will catch you tomorrow in my next vlog. Vlogmas Day Bye. No. Yeah, that's right, that is right. That is right. Bye.